Good morning. How is everyone doing? Hopefully, doing all right. It's Sunday morning. I don't normally stream this early, but it's not an untoward time for me to be awake. So here we are. Welcome to this week's Future Proof Plays. Rescheduled. Uh, let me turn down the game audio a little bit. Let me turn that up a little bit. Okay. Actually, I'm going to launch into play because the game is so much more quiet than that opening, the mini music. So, um,. So, anyway, this is Future Proof Plays. I'm glad to be back. I've missed y'all. I've missed streaming. Um, this, I'm going to play two games this morning. Two of them, I think, are both pretty short. This is the first frog detective game called The Haunted Island. Um, and then I also have the second one. I'm not going to play the third one, um, at least not this morning. Uh, this, uh, these games are made by a, an Australian company called Worm Club. Which I'm a fan of as a recent vermiculture geek. Um, so our core members are Grace Bruxner and Thomas Boker. And then they, uh, Dan Golding, it seems like, did the, the audio and, and music for the game. So um, this is a beloved game that I feel very late to play. Uh, I think a surprising number of people I know have played this game. So on the FPG front. We um, are currently both Rosette Diceless and the Companion are in the drive through RPG GM's Day sale. So the books are discounted there for um, presumably print and ebook, although now that I think about it, I probably only noticed the ebook numbers, uh, prices. Uh, so you can get both books there discounted, and um, if you are interested in hearing what Rosette Diceless sounds like in a short campaign, um, Gregory ran uh, on their podcast um, a campaign called The Great Molasses Flood, which is based on the 19 teens Boston massacre, not massacre, uh, <laughs> well, a lot of people died, uh, so it's a very tragic event, uh, so disaster is what I meant, uh, involving a large molasses tank breaking. Uh, so, anyway, it's an interesting campaign, to, especially to handle something that is a tragedy like that, uh, but it is a good showcase for how the system works, and I think we had the companion at that point. So we could, I think we were incorporating some of those newer traits and stuff into that, into that campaign. So it gives you sort of a full view of things. So let's get rolling. I've played the first 45 seconds of this game 17 times while I was trying to fix my audio last night. So uh, let's, let's do it. Possibly a family photo. Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, Salamat Datang Kambali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost science? Scientist. I don't know. 
Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. God damn. Brutal. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So, are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. <laughs> Greg, you are 100% correct. A story that feels like it was... Uh, I love a story that feels like it was written by an excited 10-year-old. This, this, this line in particular. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are. There's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass. Hey, that's how you know it's a mystery and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing a lot of screaming of anything this morning. Hey, there's a magnifying glass. Ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Just a brief moment. I love this hand that is my cursor. I love this reminder how many fingers I have and that they are cute fingers and that I am using them to interact with the world. Got your magnifying glass. Oh, that's fun. And there... <laughs> You know what they say? Never forget how many fingers you have and how cute they are. Uh, 1,000%. Is there any... Okay, so there's no... Jumping. Okay. Time to solve a mystery! Bruxner presents. We go into an island. We have no oars. A frog detective adventure. Oh, okay. Ooh. I meant to note down the name of the third game, but it fairly recently came out, I feel like, maybe like late last year. Starring the detective. Martin. Mm. Larry. Mo the Mouse Mouse. Bernie. Fresh X. Alright, Fresh X, I'm in. And the rest. Case one, Haunted Island. Watch the corruption at cowboy country. That's right. The cowboy angle to things. Notes. Hmm, maybe a man in a suit. 
So, before I dive into this, lately, I have also been playing Walkabout Mini Golf, the VR game. That is a, well, as the name suggests, a mini golf game. And it also has a sort of low poly aesthetic. And honestly, I love it. I'm in the mood for this. Um, this just like lots of flat colors that still look amazing. Um, in this case, what I am loving is the way the lines are crossing, <laughs> these outlines, the white lines are crossing as the water comes in. Um, I, I think that's adorable. Um, and it's not a lack of attention to detail. Um, so anyway, uh, and yeah, Walkabout Mini Golf, uh, as Greg points out, is so good. It is incredible. Um, it is, the base game itself is fairly inexpensive and contains something like 10 18 hole courses with both easy and hard modes, as well as what's called a fox hunt, which is like a scavenger hunt. And then DLCs to add additional courses are like two to three dollars or three to four dollars. Uh, there's a 99 at the end. I don't remember which direction it goes. Um, and include like Mist and Labyrinth and Gardens of Babylon and a new, there's an upcoming one with Jules Verne's stuff. Um, but the art style, it's not, it's not this, like it's not the same art style, but like visually there are, there's some overlap in this sort of simplistic and yet still um, expressive and, uh, and just, I don't know, strong aesthetic. So it's, uh, it's very cool. Can I go out in the water? What happens if I go to the boat again? Nothing. Oh. <gasps> ah! This is fun. This is fun. But I gotta get back to work. Oh my god. I love a good dance in a game. Okay. Well. Alright. Let's talk to the person with these sus notes. M.M. -M. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do a ton of voices. My brain is not awake. Ah, nor, nor do I normally, to be fair. Ah, uh, oh, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. The Eve of Forest? I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? They did. Oh, so you've been following my blog posts. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. I cannot. Of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions, yes. What would you like to know? Uh, it's very important when detective stories establish that this is not the detective's first case or that they have a thriving blog community. You are absolutely correct. Like, um, it's, it's a very different story if it is baby's first case. <laughs> Uh, I also, I also think the initial, uh, where the supervisor said I couldn't send my best one, aside from being a, a good snarky joke, also one establishes that there's an entire community or stable of detectives, and also that uh, whether this, where the frog detective is a hot shot or not, um, so I, it's good, good setting. Uh, tell me about the resident. May I ask who the resident of this island is? It's a frog and a lobster. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Greg. They don't live in stables. Ah, oh, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm. 
Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Where to start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry, the tall one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. All right. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. Huh. Hey there, little guy. I can't talk to you yet. You have a shell in your hand and are wearing an inner tube. I think they're called. Pasta? Alright. Hi, it's me, Larry. Hello. I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't... I, Larry, did not make those spooky noises. That's, like, more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just... I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accused. Uh, oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I? Are you going to ask me questions? Yeah, let me, or ask me them. The questions, I mean. What can you tell me about the no- Firstly, I am not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. Oh. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they mean... I am a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, Detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need... Okay, we can give me the ingredients again. I want to go back to the starfish and use my magnifying glass. Hi there, friend. I wonder if this magnifying glass is going to be useful. It's burning. It's very useful. It lets you see things bigger. You're not wrong. But I wonder if it will be helpful to see things bigger. Alright. <clears throat> hey!
hey, you're that detective, right? The one that uh, the monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. What the fuck? Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? About this hole. I have not seen a hole. Oh, okay. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job, but I'd be good at other jobs. I'm just letting you know. But it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie... I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Uh... Secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass. There's nothing I want more. Interesting. Uh, let's ask about this magnifying glass fetish. Why did you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean, why? Oh, okay. Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest of secret agent items. How could you, a secret agent, not know that? Listen. Fine, fine. You're not a secret agent. All right. I'm going to yoink this pasta. Yum. But it's not mine. Well. Is it yours? You're standing right next to it. Questions, question, questions. What else do you want to know? Okay, I can't ask about the pasta. Hi. Okay, I can't talk to you from that angle. Oh. There are more of you. Okay. Hi there, friend. Okay. Yeah, I can only talk to some kinds of animals. Wow. Look at that pose. That's a real pose. Can I? I cannot use my magnifying glass while I'm in conversation. This is, I can't tell if that's toothpaste or something else. All right. It is Fresh X. Howdy. Hello? Oh. Oh no. I took the pose too. Hello. Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you d -tech? Absolutely, please call me d -tech. Yes. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, d -tech. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. 
I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Your smile? I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth, of course. Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Toothpaste for Teeth, or Cool Paste for Teeth. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. Do you have any teeth left? Or you just scrub them all off? I'm down to my last tube. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have teeth? Um, well, I could give you my tube. But I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Take it away, D-Tech. Okay. I do want your toothpaste. Can I take it? I don't think there's an angle at which I can nab it. Fresh X was clear about their needs. I think this little, this little person looks very concerned. They have a concerned face. Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Uh-oh. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea, but it's safer in here than it is up there. Why's that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Hmm, I have questions. Nice, right? I don't have any idea where to find one, though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? Uh, yeah, it is dangerous to swim in a thunderstorm. It doesn't matter if it's raining or not. It's the, it's the lightning that'll get you, as far as I'm aware. Um, let's see, why do I want that magnet? Do, do, do. If it sweetens the deal, if it sweetens the deal, I can give you this big shell in return for the magnet. I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Hmm, Koala does not understand magnets. Why? <laughs> Thanks, Frog Detective. Thanks, D Tech. Why would you think a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? Hmm. I... Okay. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm. Maybe two weeks? What the fuck? Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. 
Is there anything else you need to know? Nope. Nothing for the moment, but I'll come back. Sure thing. Oof. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby-Doo. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. By me. Notes. Some whole noises. Need to need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. This might come in handy. Got a magnet. Let's let's see what happens. Okay, my inventory is in my upper right. Uh, Greg says certain things about the dialogue here remind me of Ossuary, a game where characters are just like, I want this thing, bring me it. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate a clarity in that, like, where do you want the puzzle to be? <laughs> is it in figuring out what the characters want? Or is it uh, getting the thing? In this case, getting the magnet was not an ordeal, but how am I going to get that pasta? Who could say? Always with the questioning. Is there anything else? Is anything you need to know? Uh, I don't think... Maybe this will... Okay. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Got a shell. Will the shell be used to contain the explosive items? Explosive paste of pasta and toothpaste and so on? There's just science stuff lying around, pouring out onto the ground. These balls of yarn? Coconuts with strings around them? Okay, there's no howling coming out of there. Science line, don't go in. Okay, bad science line. That's how science works, Lucy. That's sometimes how science works. Yeah, that's sometimes how science works. Just pour some stuff out on the ground. Hey, how's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Now, not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I've been shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Are you a sheep? I guess you're a sheep. If you have wool. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages, so it's yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Now I know what those balls of yarn are. Ah, uh, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I 
think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. Ah, uh, are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who is very slimy. Our fro frogs aren't actually slimy, right? Like there's not like a mucus thing happening. It's just that they're wet and slick. I guess I don't know a lot about frogs. I think they're cute. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Oh, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom. Or like, fire. Cool. Okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Mind if I ask more questions? Ask away. Uh, let's see. Let's see. As our expert, guest expert in Dogman, how does this series compare? He says, oh, it's pretty different from Dogman. Similar and maybe in the subtly transgressive version of reality. Dogman is much less transactional, though. I mean, it felt transactional when Cat's father stole all his stuff to pawn it. Uh... And yes, these folks do need some body positivity in their life. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghost in there pretty deep hole but it gets smaller as you go down so maybe there's a ghost further down do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole sometimes but not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole now that's a noisy hole I wish I could hang out there what who's stopping you the boss who's the boss Tony Dance is the boss I don't know Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. No questions right now, thanks. Okay, so I need a broom. Oh. Hello. Is that your mouth? I hope I get the ability to talk to them. All of these. All these folks. Okay. Why are you back here? I don't know, because I'm a detective. Because I'm D-Tech. Alright. Let's see what Mystery Monkey has to say now. Questions, yes. What would you like to know? Nope. Need to go talk to more people. Let's see. Uh, stealing stuff is not transactional. It's appropriate if you're right. Uh, and Petey made his own peace with this relationship and his dad in a way that didn't require anything of Petey's terrible dad. Oh my god. I am looking forward to your Dogman essay. You have the secrets. These animals have the secrets. Oh. 
Okay, there's wind noise coming from there. I think I found the inhabitant of the island. Oh, and a broom. Just gonna pluck that up. Ooh, a broom. Got a broom. Going nowhere fast, that little bug. Oh. Orbit. Ah, stop right there. Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? <laughs> I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Rude. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. That cave. Do you know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it is a cave. It just looks like a pile of rocks, if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll have- we'll just agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey! Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Well, I... I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells but I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Got a magnifying glass. Orbit is a lot. Uh, I can see why they would be a least favorite. Okay, so this does not replace my magnifying glass. It's merely an object that I have that can presumably be traded. Huh. You look like you are also a lot. Hi! Hello? Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I've just never talked to a detective before. 
I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. <laughs> I have to be careful. Oh. Well, is it okay if I ask some questions? Do you have some questions? Questions, yes. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing. I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? Fine, you've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh, well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm... There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow on this island? I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what kind of, I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouth, mouse wash, mouth wash in return. Sure thing, I'll do my best. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? Oh my god. Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh, ghost scientist. Not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know. Uh, you know. Because you like toast? Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Assuming this is the mouthwash. What's in that bottle next to you? That's my mouthwash mouthwash. Uh, let's see. I'd be happy to give it to you. Let's see. Well, good to it. Thanks. Okay. Guess I gotta talk to this person now, who just has a bed in the forest. I don't know what kind of animal this is. Wah! Who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. Got questions for me? 
Woof. All right. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best answer wins. Okay. Got questions? I do. Could you tell me what style of fucking music of dancing you want? You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the, about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves are pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete. What with this whole spooky situation going on. <sighs> Checking on Greg the cat who has been nomming down, hopefully quietly, so far this morning. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book, it says most ghosts can't be seen. And, get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Oh my god. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on, <laughs> on the cyberweb.com. But now I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the... Oh, I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, most like. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean, like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark, just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it real hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. Hold on. He's about to knock everything off this table over here, so easier to just pick him up. Uh, it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? <laughs> a Greg, a ghost cat. Not a ghost cat. I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a viz you lishition? Exorcism. It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine. You're on a beach, surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It's, it is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? The ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice, sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great. Me too. Thanks so much, Detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. 
Gotta chunk up your gold. Wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Okay. So I didn't get a dance style. Not yet. Although, let me talk about Finley and maybe they, maybe Mo knows something about Finley. Nope. Wait, it was the mouse, right? That wanted to dance. <gasps> There's definitely a very pale person over there. Come out, come out. into the microphone. Only I'm allowed to bump into the microphone. Okay, so I've talked to everyone except the ghost. Actually, I'm gonna go and see if I can interact with these rocks at all. Doesn't seem like... Okay. Dance styles. Oh, right, it was Monkey. He would know. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you like dancing and, uh, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is a, such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think break dancing is so neat. Oh god. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far as to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times, forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay, I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Got a monkey fact. Let's go get ourselves some mouthwash. You have some questions? Questions, yes. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing. I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Got mouse wash, mouth wash. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. You! Can I? There's no jumping. Hmm. 
There's no getting around this rock as far as I can tell. It's always good to take a rest. Huh. Okay, well. Well, Greg the cat, when I said you could lay down, I didn't mean sprawl on my desk and hit my keys. All right. Let's see if there were other... <laughs> the detective is so wise. Yes. It's always good to take a rest. Okay, nothing new with the monkey. I need... Oh, I have a broom. I may not have all the answers, but go ahead. Ask away. Broom. Hey, I got that broom ready to clean. Yes, amazing. Thank you. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? I guess so. It's already gone for my damn inventory. Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically, knock yourself out. Phew. Got wool. I think I'm going in the hole. Well, I see that ghost pop out of anywhere else. I say ghost, because who knows? Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. Well, I'm gonna ask, see if that triggers any new thoughts from Noodle? Nope. See, the animals on this island, the critters, know everything. I can't get any further down. So you know what to uh, you know what to do with some of your stuff, right? Um, not everything yet, though. I don't think I have all the ingredients. I need the toothpaste. Oh, that's. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All of my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Give me that pasta. Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love, apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Do you, would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Got some pasta. Toothpaste, wool, gold, pasta. Okay. Just making sure I had that list correct. Okay, the posing. Back for questions. Take it away, D tick. some mouthwash for you. Amazing. Thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? 
I almost forgot. Here you go, D Tech. Got toothpaste. keep hitting E as if that is how to interact with things. More questions? Ask me them. The questions, I mean. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You got everything? Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Let's, let's do it. Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Mushrooms. I like it. Ooh. We need the ladders when you can just fall. I wonder if it will be the same person peeking around outside. I hope I get to talk to them. Uh oh, there's music. Oh my goodness. Cutting a rug back here. This is so cute. I figured this was Finley. Oh, hi. Can't do two high pitched voices, they'll sound exactly the same, unlike all my other voices. Who are you? Are you a ghost? Haha, <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley? I know that name. I'm pretty well known in the local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition? It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Jeez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. Haha. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around here? Ha, huh, nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. How did you get in here if the opening was closed off? You've been dancing for two weeks straight. Ha, uh, yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. 
Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Maybe music? Hmm, I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped, too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Haha, -ha, really? Haha. -ha. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. Ha. -ha. Then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. What the fuck? Ha ha. Anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Is Finley a chicken? Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? Alright, the cat is departing. Please depart. I'm getting hair in my coffee. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... what? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But, my ghost books. I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. And it goes to show you should never trust books. Hmm. Always use the internet instead. Uh... Haha, <laughs> yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Grace Bruxner, one of the, or I guess the game designer of this. Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Grace. I appreciate you. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time. Yep. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about him. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, Detective. I did not solve the mystery entirely. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry... Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go. Huh. But there's a person I didn't get to talk to. This belly dancer over here. So good. Or salsa. Whatever's happening.
I'm also a fan of the monkeys working it out over there. A person? Are you sure that one? I I think they were the ghost, a ghost, or a previous inhabitant. Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. Uh-uh. What is happening right now? I wonder how much time was spent on these animations as opposed to any of the other animations. Which is not to say they were bad before, but just thinking about getting the dance moves right. Ah, okay, they may have grabbed a bunch of dances from Mixamo or something. Is it Mixamo? Mixamo? Oh, I'm dancing. I'm shaped pretty weirdly. I don't actually want to judge this competition. I hope I can have a way for- oh no! How am I supposed to pick? They were almost all extremely good. Hmm. Okay, so it's worth noting. There are only 10 spots here. Right? Like, there's not, like, an empty spot suggesting that the person who was hiding, the entity that was hiding, is not someone who could have been plucked out for dancing. You know what I mean? It would make this whole thing uneven. Oh, they could slide the bottom row? I don't know. Alright. Giving it to the mouse. I want... There's still a mystery. I'm checking the background to see if anyone pokes their head out. A little bit later. Very cute. There's no one photo bombing. Okay. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective. Supervisor! Great work on the haunted island mystery. Thank you, I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. Hmm. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where'd you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool! I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? 
I can handle anything. The detective will return in the case of the invisible wizard. Delightful. Okay. So, I also have the second game, which I intend to play this morning. Um, so, I'm going to take a break for five or so minutes. And then come back with that game. Um, this is delightful. Uh, okay. So I'll be back. I'll talk again a little bit about what's going on with FPG, and then we'll get into the second game. So, BRB.
Hello, hello. I'm going to go ahead and get this started since I think this menu music is loud relative to my voice. I get dumped in the room. Is that a fra a turtle in that lantern? Um, okay, so welcome back. This is Future Proof Plays, which is a series we do approximately bi-weekly. Um, schedules have been startlingly rough for the first couple months of this year uh, with regards to, to regularity. Um, but uh, I am... Oh, thank you, Lucy. Uh, I am one half of Future Proof Games, which is a two-person studio with Gregory Avery Weir and Chat being the other entity. Um, and we make indie games that are focused on inspiring what we call audacious compassion. So seeing the alien as human, um, seeing the complexities of morality and ethics, and... Um, we did not make this game. We don't. We we are not currently streaming uh, our games. So we we look for indie games that are kind of in line with some of those those principles and values. Um, so if you're just joining, I played the first Frog Detective game. Now I'm moving into the second one. Lucy is departing in part because they have not played the second one and uh, want no spoilers. So so here we are. Um, on news on our front our how convenient the chatbot just came up uh both of our rosette diceless books which is our tabletop role-playing game and larp game system um are in drive through rpg's gm day sale so uh yes nightbot doing great uh, so they are a very consensus focused um very light in rules. Um, the diceless part of Rosette Diceless suggests that there are no dice, which is true. So both books are on sale in that, uh, and there are we have a few example campaigns that are out in the public that we have played. One of them is in podcast form. It's called The Great Molasses Flood. Gregory was the GM of that, um, and it's about the uh, well, the Great Molasses Flood of 1918, 17, 18, 19, somewhere around in there. Um, and uh, it's an interesting handling of a, of a pretty horrible tragedy um, in a way that I think is, is graceful. Uh, we've also done two Twitch streamed campaigns, um, both run on our friend Jim Ryan's uh, account. Uh, profile uh, but we have them saved off on YouTube oh it's 1919 um, one of them was a southern gothic horror campaign uh, I think did I run that one yeah I feel like I did run that one and then the other one was this 1960s British spy setting which Jim ran that one um, amazing uh, both of them fun stuff so both of those are good showcases you can find both of those over um, I, uh, our YouTube channel, which Future Proof Games, we come up. Uh, so that's sort of the big news on our front right now. We've been working on Exploit Zero Day. Um, actually, I've been working on taxes. <laughs> uh, but generally speaking, we are working on Exploit Zero Day. We are um, in the writing process of our final segment of Headless Swarm which is the first paid season of content for Exploit Zero Day. Um, and that's going to feel very good to wrap up. Headless Swarm has been in the making for a long time. It can be purchased already for five US dollars. Um, and you get to play all of the stuff that is out now. Um, and then if you are not ready to pay, I mean, you should play the game regardless. It's free to play aside from that season. Um, it has a full story arc um, in place. You can make puzzles and share them with people, play other people's puzzles. Um, if you have played the old Flash game exploit, this is in the same genre. It's a continuation of that in a certain, to a certain extent. Um, so, but modernized, lives in the browser. There are forums in which you can 
talk with other players, role play, um, things like that. So that's kind of our current game development focus. Um, but we've been talking about what's coming up next after we wrap up Headless Swarm. Um, and we have another game we'll probably work on as well as continuing to build some features for, for Exploit Zero Day. So, but now let's play some Frog Detective. Um, I had thought that I would finish the first part quicker, the first game quicker. How long to beat? It says 45 minutes. It took about an hour and 15. So I'm not sure I will play all of this one. It's a little longer than the first one. So um, not only am I getting hungry, but uh, I don't know that I'm going to spend all day <laughs> playing Frog Detective. So. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. We have seen some of this intro, basically. Uh, oh. Okay. So, Supervisor says, Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. That's funny. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, Detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry. Very relatable. I can't wear hats. Anyway, Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple days ago, a new resident moved in. A kind of shy, a shy kind of gal doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely. But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I'm aware. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. Ooh. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line and travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everyone, everybody, to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop to it. Haha. Ha. Oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible. Oh, come the hell on. Ah, that was loud. And a wizard. An invisible wizard. Cool. Uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade and the decorations, and the celebration. They want her to be uninvisible. De-invisibled. Uh, visible. Exactly. Anyway, do you have everything you need? Um, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass. Ooh, you get purple instead of blue. Of course. It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, You'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, Supervisor. Good luck, Detective. Swapping my coffee. Or having water closer at hand. Extremely cute pictures. I'm guessing the third one has three pictures up there. Ah, oh, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. Well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. Got your magnifying glass. I definitely could solve mysteries without this magnifying glass. 
nonetheless. Whoa. What? No. Uh-uh. Lobster cop. Are we racing to see who beats it first? Who solves it first? Ah, as the famous frog detective. Famous? I'm not famous. Ha, huh, perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I mean, they're working every time you do it. Damn. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure it is, little cleaning frog. And then I say, I am a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But you're usually gone already. But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. Hmm. What does this game think about cops? I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, Lobster Cop. Perhaps. But detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Nah, not really. Wow, yes please. Tip number one, pay attention. You should make sure you're looking at things and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two. Everyone is a suspect. Even you. I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three. Carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception. Factually inaccurate. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep, there are stickers you can use, too. I, brought, I bought them with all my crime-solving money. Cool. I'll let you get to it, detective. Head into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, Lobster Cop. Hmm. Lobster Cop has more pictures. They found a Pac-Man ghost? All right. I don't want to talk to Lobster Cop again. Huh, notes. Hmm, which sticker should I pick? And where should they go? Oh, it's a lot of stickers. That's fun. Let's put a little bird on the saguaro. And What else should I add? Is that a fried egg? 
I think that's a fried egg. Let's give the flower something of a hat. I don't think this works. But you know who deserves a hat? Let's, let's do this a little differently. Hmm. I'm just gonna obscure the notes label. I'll know what the book is for. You deserve a hat, Frog Detective. Okay. That might be sufficient. I want you back on top. There we go. Okay. Is that is that sufficient sufficiently sufficiently tacky? Hmm. Put you over here. Let's give you a jaunty hat. Okay. There. Good book. Good book. Got a notebook. Tab. What goes in it? My things. Okay. Alright. It's kind of exciting. There's like a, a sense of place here. There are only... Are there only two of us? Wait a second. If there's only two of us, does it matter? That lobster cop is best? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Lobster cop is best regardless, but. Time to solve another mystery! Love the purple color so far. Good use of purple. Copious use of purple. Oh yeah, I did not mention that Super Hot is publishing this game. And I think the first one is well. So I like that the first game left the one person undiscovered the person who's peeking around the island uh i wonder if this one will do something similar this cast of characters and several more characters there's a zebra the case of the invisible wizard No going home. Oh, wow. Got detritus. Knocked over lamps. What happened? There's a parade gone wrong. Or a party gone wrong. A, t a tap. 
tap here. Is that this? This buddy here? Or what, what were you? No, you are something more conventional. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Got a pie. One lost pie. Ah! You're just in a box of water. Okay. Can I have some chips? They are the ones with pie. All right. Let's start with the person on state. Well, let's start with another pie. Got another pie. Two lost pies. I wonder how many pies someone is going to want. Hmm. Naughty. Hmm. What? Huh? Who are you? The detective. Oh. I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh. Or huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard. Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa. Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this, frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm naughty. Okay. <laughs> Never not funny. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay. Was it you that asked for me to come? No. I would have asked for Lobster Cop. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening. Okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh. But I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she's invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Yep. And... She is a wizard. I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Right. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway, tell me what you want to know. Well, I feel like I already know how this is going to go, but I will ask about the wizard. Just to make sure. Oh, so how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh... Oh heck, how do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here, but that house has been empty for ages, and I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. Anyway, she kind of came at a weird time of night, and I, well, I thought she was a ghost. Oh, yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh? I tried to vacuum her up with a vacuum. I put it on the highest setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Um, please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. Wait, what? But you should probably apologize. Okay, sorry, detective. I meant to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. 
This makes me sound really bad. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. If only I had a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess. But the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Oh no! Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. We'll do. Do you have more questions? Uh, deep frog detective build, world building lore. You are correct. Um, jail isn't real. Hmm. If only, I guess. Uh, the mayor has three question marks afterwards. I like it. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to this cool looking entity. Dandy. You're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you, I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective, are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, those shoes are enchanted. Or these shoes are enchanted. Oh? I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky. Which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I never should have learned that tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Someone thought it would be funny to knock them all over. It's so annoying. I spent ages making them. Ah, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know. Do you need help finding your pies? Yes! Detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus, the town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yep. Thanks. I do too. Something I appreciate about this game, in part because of the speed of the UI, by which I mean the slowness of interacting with the UI, is that they don't make me choose yes or no. There's not conversational interaction. It's just going to keep going with its great writing. Um, because every time it's like, do you have any questions? It's kind of slow to pop up the thing and that click and it's slow to come back down and then ask. Um, so I appreciate that they're not asking lots and lots of, or you know, giving me lots of prompts. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings this look to a new level. I may be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. What were we talking about? My outfit. No, before that. Pies. Right. You offered to help pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Neat. Thanks, detective. Oh. I'll give them the pies I've collected. Mandy. Detective. I have found some of your pies. Wonderful. Now there's only three left to find. I'll hop to it. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of pies. So 
someone knocked her pies over. What a bummer. Schooled me about, pa about fashion. Fair enough. Real witch. Spooky. Alright, let's ask about last night. Where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Just kidding. I was on whizbay.net where magic happens. TM. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes. But you've just got these you just got these new ones. Uh yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with this blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109. Sorry to hear it. How do you how'd you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off. But then I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Hmm. Did you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary has taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. I only saw the mess in the morning. Interesting. Tell me what you want to know. Uh, Wizzy, yes. Uh, motive, upset about not winning the shoes, perhaps. Took it out on the parade. All right. Hey, a pie. Got a lost pie. Hey, that's that same person, for sure, for sure, right? Sound less confident when I phrase it like that. Is this gonna pertain to the third mystery? The third game? Yeah, that, this, it's gotta be the same person. I don't know if it's just if I just have to wait before they trigger again or interact with something else. Ah, Mary the singer. La. Ooh, la la la. Hello? Hello, frog. Hello. What's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Hmm, yep. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> I'm tired. Huh, maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yep, I'm why everyone soundproofed their houses. That sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. I think I sound very good, even late at night. Hmm. Something boobied. Hold on for a second. I think my do not disturb turned off. Okay, there we go. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Wow. That's when my energy is the highest. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Oh yes, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Lucy had remarked in the first game that those folks needed some body positivity. I appreciate Mary being like, my health is my business. Whisper, whisper, welcome to my hair salon. Snip, snip. That will be 100 money. <laughs> I don't have any hair or any money. 
That's okay. You can pay me back later. Just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Ooh, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I ask? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh boy, I love questions. About the wizard. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? Ha ha ha. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. Ah, uh, I was asking about the wizard. Oh. Yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right. This is part of the questioning, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so I didn't do any crimes or anything. And I have the right to remain silent. Wow. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? Ha, huh, literally never. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, actually. Does this, does this make me a snitch? I think so. Rats. Oh boy, I love questions. Let's see, about last night. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh boy, yeah. Sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just singing outside. You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Detective, have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news, is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. Oh, why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggywood and become a star. Froggywood. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have many other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La! What will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. Yeah. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Oh boy. Welp. Okay. I like that having a notebook. The previous game was perfectly fine and simple without one. Um, you know, there weren't a ton of moving parts there. Uh, but uh, I do think, I think this is cute for one thing. Um, and I don't know, I think it's cute and it's nice to have a reminder there just in case one gets a little lost in the details. It's a lost pie. Got a lost pie. Detective has never actually been extorted before and might not be being extorted now? Technically? Is this extortion? Hmm. I guess it's probably extortion. It's very mild. Ah, a pie. <laughs> All that walkabout mini golf has made you a good pie searcher? Yes. Got a lost pie. Especially knowing how many pies there are. Just like I know that there are 18 balls on a course. Greg the cat is here. He's back to demand cuddles. Pies. 
I found all of your pies. What? All of them? I think so. Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow. You must have searched far and wide. I searched this general vicinity, yes. Wowee. Thanks, detective. As promised, here's one money. He's yowling, but when I reach to pick him up, he skitters away. I don't think he ever promised payment, but thank you anyway. I was like, yeah, I didn't think she had. You're welcome. Oh, I'll give you a fresh pie, too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry. You can hold on to it if you like. Nonsense. Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure. Thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. I have one money and a fresh pie. Oh. Amazing baker. That's cute. All right, let's talk to the zebra. I'm going to guess it's going to want money. Huh. Is that the developer space? That might be Grace Bruxner's face. It's unclear. Carlos, a uh, customer. Welcome to Carlos's all things you could need shop. Are you Carlos? Yes, just like the name of the shop. That's me. Ha, ah, how cool is that? The shop has my name in it. So cool. My company also has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name? Crime? Oh, no. I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a name, though. More of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool, I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we're all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a societal construct. We have rejected it. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits, among other things. Wow, that's great. My office neighbor, Lobster Cop, has a picture of himself right above his desk. Do you know Lobster Cop? Yep. Holy heck. I've been a fan forever. You know, he solved the mystery of the haunted island recently? Aw, oh, hell no. Oh, uh, I don't think it was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Uh, no, Larry's a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh, well. Agree to disagree. I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. Hmm. That's really cool. Thanks. So you're like, the second best detective, I suppose? Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay. What would you like to know? Where were you last night? Just here, in my shop. What about when you closed up? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? You're open all the time? Sure am. Of course. I sleep and eat and look after myself. 
My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. I wonder if zebras sleep standing up. Do horses sleep standing up? I always forget if which of horses and cows can get up and lay down safely. Also, the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Do you ever take breaks? Hmm, sometimes. But I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Me too. Although, I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway, did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Why? Uh, the crime? Huh? Hmm. I think I need to question you a bit more. Go for it. What would you like to know? Zebras and horses can doze while standing, but also lay down at night. Hmm, okay. What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door. Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah. That place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? The parade that everyone has been prepping for? Wow. How nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who is the parade for again? What the fuck? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Right. Okay. Uh. Oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw our parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no. How embarrassing. I can't show up to the parade without one. Do you think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. You're right. Ugh, what should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh. Thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. What would you like to know? That's all. You've seen nothing, know nothing. Could be worried that the wizard doesn't shop locally. Needs party hat. Easy boy. Seems stressed about the parade, doesn't have a hat. See? They peeked out again. Let's go into this house. Hello? Is anyone home? It sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. Hmm. Oh! There's a... A wizardy like person that is somewhat translucent. I can see boxes behind them, but I can also see their eyeballs, which means they might be wearing eyeball glasses. Okay. Like googly eyes or something. Oh, I maybe also see arms? Hmm. Could be sleeves. Victor. 
I'm flagging. We're gonna see. This... We might talk to everyone once and get a sense of the kinds of things people want and then call it. I'm hungry and I hope my tummy growling does not make it onto the stream. Victor says, hi. Hello. Wanna hop in? A little bit, but I'm on a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? The detective. I appreciate these floaties. I wonder if the third game will also have someone in a body of water wearing a flotation device. <laughs> Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool, cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Because, like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah, nobody knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend Naughty. Oh, she's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I heard there are going to be delicious pies for the parade, so the timing was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville? I want to go to Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Good awkward silences in these games. Um, so anyway... Can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions. Did you know much about the Invisible Wizard before you came here? Eh, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I didn't know. I don't know a lot. Annoying that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. I'm super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. The first time they even threw me a parade. What the fuck? Okay. I take the parade thing back. Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. So what am I supposed to do when people are boring? I'm not sure. I probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings though, did I? Well, I have to admit I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job, and I'm a frog, and I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Which crimes? This one. You solved the crime already? Yeah. Ralph did it. How do you know? Um, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet. But it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive. The reason for destroying the parade. Oh, um, I think because he has an eye patch on. I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. Now who's the rude one? This conversation isn't going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. Gah! Wow! Not until I solve the mystery. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something? And get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. You could ask someone to get you something to eat. Like who? There's nobody here. I am here. Right, there I go being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please, take one bunny as an apology. Got one money. Questions. Fresh pie. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. It's making me really rude. For example, I think your jumper is outdated. Victor, I am not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right. 
It's retro, not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you, for Mandy. Seriously? Score. Yep, please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. And I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep. You have beautiful eyes. Oh wow, thank you. It's true, and I think the color jumper suits you perfectly. You're making me blush. That's my face. It's a blushing face. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm. I have a spare party hat I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it. Alas, my head is simply too weird a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. Got a party hat. Motive hadn't eaten, could have been jealous of the parade. Such a rude individual. Perhaps only rude because of hunger, but maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkinville. A dog. I'm gonna guess a developer's dog. Oh no. <sighs> Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Oh my god. Ralph is having a realization. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yes. Weird. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yes. But you're so small. I'm of average frog height. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me, huh? How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. It's nothing against the wizard, but I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. But I would really like my own home. Oh. I've been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs. Like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building show. I'm excited to see it. Went from, like, very low ambition and interest to maybe I'll get my own building show. Which, if the singer is going to Froggy Wood, maybe connections will be built. May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. Oh, it'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes, a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't make me suspicious. 
You put it on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I really don't want to get into this too much, but I watched a movie last night about pirates, and I loved it. And there's another three left? Oh no. Three whole movies? Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like the Toad Investigation series. Yeah, anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night. That's where I was. And for that reason, I have decided to wear an eye patch. Okay, I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Just a full, completely centered, face front picture. <laughs> uh, motive in true pirate fashion wanted to cause a ruckus. It's building supplies, a private boy. Thinks I am too small. I am not. Okay. I think Cat is the only person left to talk to. Unless someone else is revealed. Oh my stars. It's you. It's me. The famous lobster cop. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Uh, no, I'm a frog. Yeah. Why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. I am not Lobster Cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. Uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Damn! Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency. Which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh, I didn't know that was how it worked. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though. To remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade. And I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. Susan, you are sus as fuck. So you were fine with her moving to town? Or to the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years and it's really nice someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Sure is. I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker yet, but I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I struggle to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation, for sure. Some people are protective of their communities, and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make places better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully, it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you. Especially you. Especially me? Oh, no. Sorry, not sure why I said that. But you're not off the hook just yet. Hook. That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? 
I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Uh, about last night. Where were you on the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah. I picked all the colors myself and everything. Although, I'll admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why's that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. Oh my god. Where's the cat? I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. It's a big nuisance. I understand. But I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction of the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. That's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. Hmm. Okay. Motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign. Destroy the parade out of embarrassment. Something to fix her sign. <laughs> Insist she's not suspicious. This makes her much more suspicious than she realizes. Okay. I have talked to every person that is, at this point, talkable to. So I think with that, I'm going to call the stream. See if I can get one more peek of this little person hiding back there. I wonder if they are an aspiring detective. Or they are a third detective at the agency who doesn't have an office. Hmm. Anyway. So, uh, so this game is the second frog detective game. I also played the first one for the first hour or so of the stream. Um, and this is Future Proof Plays. We should be back in, I think, two weeks with Greg playing something. I don't know if you have picked your game, Gregory. Forgot to ask ahead of time. Um, our, like I said at the beginning of the stream, our schedule has been so off. Uh, we're out of town next weekend, etc., etc. So um, you can go to futureproofgames.com slash streams to see our streaming schedule. Um, as we sort out what our dates are and so on. Um, we also post on Twitter still about when we are streaming. Um, we are figuring out what we want to be on co-host. Uh, but uh, for now, my socials are below the stream. Urson.life is my Mastodon account um, and then Twitter for Future Proof. Um, we are in the drive through RPG GM's Day sale for the next nine days. You can get both of our Rosette Diceless books uh, in the sale at a discount. Um, and I think Gregory will have a link for that. Um, let's see. That might be all I need to mention. Yeah. So, all you can find all of our stuff at futureproofgames.com. You can find the game we're currently working on, which is Exploit Zero Day, over at exploitzeroday.com. That is a um, a cyberpunk. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. It's a cyberpunk puzzle game uh, where the puzzles you solve represent systems you're hacking. So there's crafted story from us. There's story that players have written. You can make your own puzzles, your own story if you wish. Um, so there's that. I. I'm going to call it for the day. I'm going to give myself some lunch, probably take a nap. So uh, thank you all for watching. Thanks for hanging out on this Sunday boarding and we will see you again soon.